Hi guys, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the exercise psychology class I took this summer. I found it to be really interesting for a lot of important reasons. Number one, mostly for how we exercise. Um, just the different motivational factors that tie into it. And... I just kind of want to share my thoughts on each module that we've gone through throughout the past um, two months throughout the course. So from week one, psychology of physical activity, um, I just thought it was interesting just going over like how um, physical activity um, just kind of impacts our daily life, like how we exercise, like how it ties into uh, just being overall healthy, how it kind of just fuels our emotions, um, makes us more productive. Um, I also liked learning about um, just kind of the basic terms like sedentary behavior, which includes no movement. Um, um, sorry, I also liked learning about frequency, um, or the FIT principle, which includes frequency, intensity, time, and type. Um, I think those are really interesting concepts as well, because it kind of just describes, like, how many times a week we're working out, and just basically the difficulty or RPE of the workout, the time, so if we're getting enough time in for the workout, and then the type, which is basically the type of workout, because everybody's different, we're all used to doing different workout routines, um, we might do certain sports that we like, we might do certain workout routines, different strength routines, cardio routines that we enjoy, so... I just liked learning about those principles in the class from Module 1. From Module... Sorry. From Module 2. Um, psychology of well-being. I just liked how exercise just kind of fuels our well-being. Like, if we work out we release more cortisol from our brain and it puts us more in a positive state and we're more focused and um, more positive throughout the day. It gives us more motivation to accomplish goals, duties, tasks. We become, we become more productive at our jobs. Um, just kind of along those lines. And if we don't work out, well, we usually are more um, negative or always stressed. So, yeah, exercise. If you don't exercise enough, you obviously become more stressed and uh, just uh, more negative, I'd say. Um, you're also not really in a great state of matter or just in a really great state of mind either. It's kind of more like being anxious about certain uh, chores to be done like around your house and that's just for an example or just being like stressed at work more often uh, like you're worried about accomplishing more work duties if you don't exercise versus not being productive enough from exercising and uh, yeah I just liked learning about the psychology of just our overall well-being from the mind behavior, the mind and behavior for just how we act in module two. Uh, for module three, um, psychology of ill-being. Um, what I kind of liked about this module was just learning about our overall like concepts of stress like um like if we like i mentioned in the last module or what i said from the last module just how we don't exercise increases our stress levels so we have more 
uh, factors that we worry about if we don't exercise enough. Um, we also have the Stroop effect, which I liked. We uh, have discussions like on post-traumatic stress disorder. I think that's a really uh, important concept that ties to our um, ill-being of psychology because we have past traumatic events that affect us and that definitely causes a lot of stress as well because we have to deal with remembering those events and if they trigger at certain times it's definitely not a good feeling it's more of a uh, worried feeling I'd say more of a depressed feeling like makes people more anxious about what happened to them sometimes it changes their state of mind and that's just what I really liked about learning uh, the ill uh, well-being module uh, for the next one, which is from week five, body image and, image and self-perception. This was my favorite module from the course. Um, I definitely agree about body image. Like, if you're, like, wanting to achieve a more perfect state of body, like, um, just by working out enough, like, you can definitely accomplish that goal. And even if you're, like, perfectly fine with the body you have, just as long as you're, like, maintaining your healthy levels, it's okay to, like, feel confident enough if you don't have, like, a perfect body. And just our self-perceptions of ourselves, like, sometimes we can't really change who we are and, um, you know, kind of the type of body that we're born with because those tie into genetic factors and situations like that from just our hereditary genes and um I just liked learning about this module the most it was really interesting just to learn about uh just attitudes thoughts feelings about ourselves how we evaluate ourselves it's just a different uh type of module I'd say compared to the other four um yeah, and I just liked learning about cognitive and behavioral therapies, the self-image, uh, perception, self-esteem. And it's definitely something I can relate to because I've had self-esteem issues in the past. I have always um, complained about some things I don't like about myself, as do a lot of people, but... It's just something that we have to learn to cope with over time and um, just finding the right, you know, balance for how we can accept ourselves for like who we are and um, what we can do to just uh, accept ourselves more is the best way I can put it for week six. Um, Week six module, um, social, sorry, not social, that's the next one, uh, cognition at personality and sleep, uh, yeah, I definitely like this module as well, it goes into the stages of sleep, the personality traits, so what we like and don't like for what we have for personal exercise, the five factor models of personality, uh, cognition, executive functioning skills. That was definitely a interesting, um, those were definitely some interesting concepts as well. Uh, I also did like the uh, lecture slide on cognition. It, Definitely provides some interesting stuff about the brain for the four different lobes, the frontal, parietal, occipital, and the temporal lobe. So uh, that was definitely an interesting concept of cognition, and I just definitely liked learning about uh, acute exercises, cognitive functioning. Those were interesting. Switching up tasks. So, yeah, I like switching tasks meaning 
you go from one task to another and it could be like a different task so you might not adjust to it easily or you might depending on how the task is for you at first like your initial reaction to it so I definitely thought that was interesting uh, the next module is social and physical environments uh, this is a this was a very uh, interesting one as well because I liked how social environment kind of ties into like our family friends who we kind of associate ourselves with and whether they support us or not whether they have a negative or a positive effect on us as a whole for like uh, accomplishing our goals or um, just trying to achieve acceptance from them for how we are as an individual physical I just liked learning about like how our physical environment can also shape us whether we grow up like in a home like a poor home where we're we were abused and um, how that affects us like for the rest of our lives I also liked learning about built environments modernization uh, the active travel transport model so that's like walking biking etc for physical environment um, obesity and international studies between America and Australia Delayed gratification was an interesting to learn about. You know, just the ability to reject immediately available smaller rewards in favor of larger or larger rewards. So that was definitely interesting as well from uh, the social and physical environments module. And then I definitely liked learning about the three behavior changes. Um, like motivational interviewing I thought that was a really um, great module since I kind of overlooked that module when I was doing my um, interview like I was practicing my motivational interviewing skills for how I was writing them down and how I was asking questions uh, so yeah that was definitely interesting to learn about um, I also did like learning about uh, introductions to behavior change so that's like um, changing certain habits within our behavior that we need to change ourselves um, and the self-efficacy theory for how we execute and achieve certain tasks that was definitely one I could relate to my client who was my mom um, she likes to achieve certain tasks and goals and always is uh, is always uh, executing her goals for what she wants and definitely the social cognitive theory I definitely liked that as well um, for just how we overall like sorry I'm looking at the module uh, just for overall how we understand like behavioral expectation uh, value placed on the expectation the the, uh, the perception to execute the behavior so like accomplishing a goal for how we plan to execute it and how it relates to that theory um, and just learning about just the different concepts behind self-efficacy like behavior frequency intensity type duration for how we plan those out and uh, it definitely ties into the um, intervention plan or the exercise plan I created from a client because she wanted to go hiking more often and go to the gym more for um, over an hour like a week uh, at least three days a week uh, she also wanted to do some strength portioning, which I also included, and it was definitely a great um, form of self-efficacy for how I uh, displayed the uh, exercise plan and how I planned it all out for her so that she can accomplish those goals. And she also, I also did like learning about the self-determination theory, which is highly... Uh, 
is a highly skilled uh, theory for my client because she's very self-determined. She, uh, she was really willing to try new things and is always um, confident enough that she'll like it if she tries or if she doesn't like it, at least she tried. That's why she's very like self-determined to have the motivation to just go ahead and do it either way, depending on whether she likes it or not. So yeah, that was definitely, those were definitely some interesting concepts that I've learned throughout the course and I've definitely enjoyed the course for the most part. I definitely recommend uh, just anybody taking this course if you want to learn more about just how exercise kind of influences our behavior and just our overall motivation, just kind of the, psycho the psychological aspects behind it. So yeah, I definitely love the course. It's definitely one of my favorite courses I've taken at the U so far. And, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it to anybody. So that's all I have for, uh, my reflection. I definitely hope, uh, this, uh, covers some of the topics that were listed in the rubric for the grades. So thank you guys for watching.